Welcome back to another episode with Wah, with Five with Molly, a day in the life. There's my there's my stand up pedal board down there. You see it? Oh yeah, I just got done doing that. Lots of fun on that thing. Oh my god, I finally had a moment to like be out there by myself, like on the water, paddling away, just paddling away. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. It was just like, <sighs> let's get comfy, huh? There's moments where I just completely get so overwhelmed and like I overdo it, right? Life. I just get so inundated with things that I'm doing, people in my life, career, family, like all the things that just start piling on. And I just like, I get so, I start like, this feeling starts like coming from my, like my stomach, it just starts boiling up to my head and I just feel like I'm going to like explode and what I realized today was I am really bad at asking for help really it's one of the most difficult things for me for some reason is to ask for help and I think that's just what happened today and that's what I did I was like yo vibe with noodles I need some help would you mind handling everything back here and I'm gonna go take care of myself out and enjoy this beautiful like lake like just by myself though like just just me time and this immense amount of like guilt just flooded me like I, it's really hard for me to ask for me time really hard for me to ask for help um I don't know where that comes from but I think it's like an ego thing it's like a pride thing like I got it like I can do this myself like I'm strong independent woman I'm strong I mean I'm sure lots of men do this too where it's just like I got it I got it I don't need help I don't need help it's weakness it's weakness and it's like dude I don't know I think being able to ask for help is like the most powerful strong thing you could ever do because I think we are dude humans are pack animals at the end of the end of the day like we all work together we need each other whether I like to believe it or not I actually need a community of people to help me with like my life my things my everything and that's like that's all of you out there who like watching the content it's like without you who who would I be Where, like why would I be doing vibe with mommy at all but it's for you guys and I love knowing that there's so many of you out there that watch my content. Like it fills me with purpose and joy and just like contentment. And like, again, it, I, I'm pretty sure it's like feeding into my ego yet again. And I'm like, I want it to be something more than just my ego getting fluffed. It's like, I want to just be like some, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to like dissect like what it is that I'm doing here. And it's like, Something did come to my mind the other day about like the ultimate goal of like what I want. I was listening to some Jordan Peterson. I like the man. I think he's very smart and intelligent, but he's like, you have to find your ultimate goal. Like the highest goal idea that you could ever imagine in your life. You know, he even, he even related it to like heaven, right? So a lot, just a lot of religious people, like their goal is to get to heaven at the end of their life, right? And I thought of a goal, I'm not gonna say it here, but like there's this goal that I wanna do that brings people together, gets us off our phones, gets us more present with each other again, with ourselves and with each other, and like creates a, like, a space that we can all come to. I'm sorry, like no phones allowed here, man. You have to learn to connect again with each other, like person to person, because like, I think that's a big part of myself that's like missing right now is like person to person, like that connection, that like, that love for others and, and wanting to be the best version of myself to like be there for all of you. And I get to do that with content, right? And I know like sometimes I feel like I'm part of the problem. Some stuff I put out there, I'm like, oh my God, am I part of the problem? So it's like, how can I be more like intentional with my work? How can I like project out into the world, like like freedom of just expression and just like, sorry, I'm spitting now. I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting excited. Freedom of expression, freedom of like, love and intimacy and like sharing our like deepest desires with one another without being like judged and afraid to share what we want with our partners like and that's what I get a lot of you know I get a lot of fans that come to me and they say they can't tell their partner what what they want in an intimate setting and I'm like gosh like why that would drive me insane if I couldn't 
be myself around my love, my the love of my life, my partner, my this person that's supposed to love me regardless of like, it's like, do you see me? Like the ultimate goal in a relationship for me is like, do you know me? And do you love me? Do you know the real me? And do you love me after knowing me? Like the real me, the deepest part of me, the most messed up part of myself. And that's, I think that's what we all want ultimately is to be just so loved for every single part of us, right? Every single little messed up thing that we got going on because we're all messed up. You all see, you all know what's messed up with me. I share that freely. And that's, that's a hard job. Believe, believe it. It's a, believe me, it's a really hard job putting myself out there in the way that I do because it's very vulnerable work. And I get a lot of opinions about it and a lot of assumptions and people are going to make assumptions, but that's not, but that's not, that's not why I do it. I don't care. It's like everything else is secondary. What you think of it, what you, what your opinion of me, that's secondary. It's like what it does for me is it like, it allows me to like, just be my gosh darn self. I love being myself and putting it out there for you to enjoy. And I hope it gives you permission to like be your craziest, wildest like self, but you know, obviously don't hurt people. Like obviously don't hurt people. <laughs> like that's obvious. That should go without saying, you know? Oh, it's so beautiful. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna let you look at this view real quick. God damn. Like be yourself, man. Come on. Be yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> like for real. So I think the goal, okay, so ultimate goal in life for me. Here it comes. Ultimate goal in life. All right. I think the purpose of life, for, for my life at least, is to love everything I'm aware of. Ram Dass, you know, he's, he talked about loving awareness. I talk about this a lot, but it's like to love everything you are aware of. Everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, the horrible, the... The, 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 just, the just unfair, the unjust, the, the most like darkest parts of this world, of like the darkest parts of this world, the corners of the, the, the darkness, like to even love that. And I'm pretty sure my job here on this, on this earth is to shed light in those little dark corners. And I love being that. And I love trying to love everything I'm aware of because there's a lot of stuff I don't like. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I do not love, <laughs> but I'm, but I'm, but I'm consciously retraining my brain to love it all, man, to love everything. So that's my opinion of like, that's what I believe is the purpose of life is to love everything you're aware of. And I also think it's to find love. Like love is the heart of existence. Whatever, whatever this is, wherever we came from, source, God, creator, whatever you believe at the, at the center of all of that is love. And you have to love everything though. You can't just like fit it into your box of what you want love to look like. That's not real. I'm sorry. If you want freedom to believe in what you want, you have to allow everyone else the same. So love to find true love for yourself, for everything around you, to find it in a relationship. So to be fully seen by your partner, right? And then loved anyway. Even, even if they know the worst parts of you and they still love you, that is true love, man. And I think that's the goal for like anyone here on this planet. That's just my opinion. Tell me if I'm wrong. I would love to hear, I would love, oh, this is really the topic of love. I would love to hear your, um, God, my lips are so dry and gross. I just did that with like such a whatever um see I love you I love you I love you I love you even even when I don't feel pretty I love it I love feeling like not pretty I love you leave in the comments what you think your purpose is on this planet what is your purpose what is the meaning of life what is your ultimate relationship look like super curious to know what you think I love you so much Thank you for watching. Tune in next time. I'll be uh, making another episode. We're getting the cabin kind of together. Um, there's a lot we uh, have to do, but we're kind of getting it. Um, Vibe with Noodles is getting it uh, floored, meaning like, yeah, he's putting some carpets down, some temporary carpets, which are nice. So stay tuned for that. And I love you so much, guys. And please don't forget, 
follow along, subscribe, like, watch stuff. Go check out Vibe with Mommy elsewhere and um, sending you love today, man. So much. See you soon.